what is going on guys today we got another back market iphone in the house and it came in a surprisingly big box maybe they threw something extra i don't know let's check it out this phone was shipped by a refurb company from Italy and arrived in just two days with DHL. The good thing is that Backmarket is running a promotion right now, so the shipping was completely free, which is always nice. And no, this video isn't sponsored by Backmarket. I purchased this phone with my own money and I'm planning to return it after this review. Alright, let's see what's in the box. There's the invoice and there's the phone. As usual with back market, it's wrapped in a double bubble pack. And there's a lightning cable too. Anything else here? And wow, look at all these packaging peanuts. Why so many? I got a feeling it's gonna be hard to get the bubble wrap off this thing because it's like two layers and a clear tape on top of it. God damn, this crazy back market packaging techniques. Like, look at this. I, I really hate unboxing their stuff for this reason. Like, why can't they ship it in a single envelope or something like everybody else? This is ridiculous. <laughs> okay. All right. Now I got it. And here it is, guys. The iPhone XS Max in the beautiful silver color. So I paid 227 euros in total for the so-called good quality. That's the middle quality. And right away, I must say the phone looks really, really good. The front looks brand new. I bet they replaced the screen. And that sadly means no 3D touch. And from the back there are a few scratches at the bottom, but nothing major. The scratches aren't deep. However, they could improve on the cleaning, man. <laughs> the phone is smudged up with lots of fingerprints, so the sides are okay. The surgical grade stainless steel aged very well, still looking very decent. Yeah. This still feels super premium to me. Okay, the phone is all set up and the face ID is working beautifully. No problems here. So let me open Geekbench 6 to check what we are working here with. As you can see, we are on iOS 17.5.1. But the most important thing when buying use is the battery. So what? The phone comes with a brand new battery, apparently. <laughs> Which is funny, because I didn't opt for a new battery. Knowing that I will be returning this phone, I chose the standard battery. But these phones are now nearing six years old, so I guess the seller had to replace the battery, because otherwise it would be below 80%. I don't know, let me connect this to my Mac and verify if this is real or not. The Coconut Battery app confirms that the battery is at 100% health. However, it also shows it's from 2018 and has 249 cycles. I'm not completely sure, but I think this phone might have a new battery with the original BMS board. This is a common way to avoid the unable to verify genuine battery warning. Now, I'm not opening the phone to verify, so take it with a grain of salt. But the full charge capacity suggests this phone has a new battery. Another thing, the phone seems to have a brand new screen and sadly, the 3D touch isn't working anymore and it's such a shame because this was the last phone that had pressure sensing screen and it's no longer here. This is just the haptic touch. Now, let's test the speaker quality on the iPhone XS Max. It has stereo speakers, so let's hear how it sounds. All right, we got the XS Max on the left. Let's compare it to the iPhone 15 Pro. Let's 
let's hear the 15 Pro. This is actually pretty good for such an old phone. Well, you might not be able to hear it now, but trust me, you can enjoy music with this thing without needing external speakers. And you will appreciate the good speaker quality, especially if you're a gamer. I tested a few games on the XS Max, such as PUBG, Call of Duty and Minecraft and I'm pleased to report that all of these games ran smoothly without any issues. The big screen definitely enhances the gaming experience so if you're a gamer on the go you're definitely going to love this phone. Big battery, big OLED screen, A12 Bionic chip what else do you need, right? Okay, what else? Let's talk about the cameras a little bit and let's check if they're actually working. So both are 12 megapixel cameras capable of shooting 4K at 60 FPS and they seem to be working fine. You got the telephoto lens here, which allows for two times optical zoom, but no ultra wide lens. So, what are my final thoughts on this phone? The XS Max still feels super premium to me. It feels amazing in the hands, big screen, but incredibly light and thin at the same time. It's an amazing phone, no doubt. And it's finally cheap enough that I wouldn't bother putting a case on it. It looks so good without a case. Now that we know that the XS Max will get the iOS 18, I think this is a great budget flagship. If you don't mind the lack of 5G, this phone can handle almost everything you throw at it. Thumbs up for the Italian refurbisher for including a brand new battery at no extra cost. But the packaging was pretty crazy and hard to unwrap. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one and you all have a great day.